Today we are going to look at Form 4 Additional Maths, Chapter 9, Differentiation, uh, Subtopic Maximum and Minimum Values. Previously we already discussed that, given a curve, uh, if we take a point and we find the tangent of, tangent of a point, we'll find that the gradient, gradient of a tangent is actually equals to dy dx, the first derivative of y with respect to x. So what if this point is, let's say, is the minimum point or the maximum point? Then the tangent would be a horizontal line, such as this and this. If the tangent is, is a horizontal line, meaning that the gradient is equal to 0, meaning that dy dx for this tangent and this tangent will be equals to 0. This is important to help us to determine the minimum or maximum value or the minimum and maximum point. You might recall that given a quadratic equation like for example 3x squared plus 3 by looking at the value of this coefficient of uh, x squared, if it is a positive, we know that the shape of the graph will be the shape of a smiley face. So we know that the point will be a minimum point. So we don't have to use dy dx to help us to determine whether it is a maximum or a minimum point. We only need this to help us to determine the coordinates or the values of the x and y in this case. But if it is a curve such as y equals to 3x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3, let's for, take for example, cubic equation has two turning points generally. So for example, it has this, this shape. If given a value of one of the point, we might not know whether it is a maximum point or a minimum point. In that case, we need to differentiate twice meaning to find the second derivative of y, or what we call d2y dx squared, in order to determine whether it is a maximum point or a minimum point, whether it has a maximum value or minimum value. But how are we going to do that? I'm, sh I'm going to show you in the example questions. So the first question here, find the turning points of the curve y equals to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 2. So the turning points here refers to maximum point, both maximum point and minimum point. So we want to find the coordinates of the maximum point and the minimum point. The, the first thing we do is we differentiate y with respect to x. So dy dx So previously I already told you that at the turning points or at the maximum or minimum point dy dx or the gradient of the tangent equals to 0. Hence this equation here equals to 0 and to find the points we factorize this. So we before we factorize since 3, 12 and now we divide with 3 you get Now we get the, both values of x, we can find the value of y. So when x equals to 1, since the question didn't ask us to determine maximum or minimum, so we only have to write down the points. So the two turning points are 1, 6, and 3, 2. Question number 2. Find the turning points of the curve and determine whether it is a maximum or minimum point. So to find the turning point, we differentiate this with respect to x. So I rewrite this y equals to 8x plus 
1 over 2x to the power of negative 2 so dy dx equals to 8 so at the turning points dy dx equals to 0 hence this equals to 0 so we just solve this for x So when x equals to 1 over 2, we substitute x into this equation, we get the value of y. Now we have the value of x and y. We know the point is 1 over 2, 6, but we don't know whether it's a maximum or minimum point. Hence, we differentiate this for the second time. So dy dx given dy dx is 8 minus x3 d2y dx squared will be negative will be 3 x to the power of negative 4 or we can write this as 3 x to the power of 4 no matter what values you substitute into x to the power of 4 you always get the positive value means the positive 3 over a positive value is always a positive value, means it's greater than 0. So if d2y dx squared is greater than 0, it means the point 1 over 2, 6, this point here, is a minimum point. So here, determine whether it's a maximum or minimum point. We find this, d2y dx squared. If it is more than 0, if it is a positive number, it is a minimum point. If it is a negative number, it is a maximum point. Find the turning points of the curve y equals to x minus 2 in brackets squared and determine whether it is a maximum or minimum point. So in order to find the turning points again, we find dy dx. So at the turning points, dy dx equals to 0, so 2x minus 4 equals to 0, x equals to 2. When x is 2, y equals to 0. So the turning point is at x2, y, 0. But we don't know whether it is a maximum or minimum point. So we try the second derivative. So d2y dx squared will be differentiating this with respect to x. You'll get 2, which is positive number. Hence, the point 2, 0 is a minimum point. A piece of wire of length 120 cm is bent to form a trapezium, as shown in the diagram express y in terms of x. So here the question wants us to form a relation between y and x. So the perimeter of the trapezium is 120 and since this has an equal length, so this is 10x, hence the total of the four sides is equal to 120. This is a express y in terms of x. Now the second question it says show the area show that the area enclosed by the wire is given by this. So we use the formula of finding a trapezium, which is area of a trapezium equals but the height is not given. Hence, we need to find the height of the trapezium. Since given this is uh, 12x plus y and this is y, hence this plus this 
will be 12x because here is y that has the same length. So this is this plus this is 12y means 12x sorry means this is 6x this is 6x by using the Pythagoras theorem we can find the height okay so I put it here But since the question here wants us to show that a is equals to this with only the x unknown, we need to substitute the y with this. Okay, so I just simplify this. First, I get. y is substituted by this. I get 60 minus 16x. So I think there's a typing error here. This is supposed to be. Well, 480x minus 80x squared, which is shown as this problem. Now we come to the final, que final question. Find the value of x and y for which a is maximum. Hence, this tells us that we are looking for dA dx equals to 0. To find this, to find dA dx, we need to use this equation. So we write a for a dx minus a dx squared we find dA dx equals to 0 hence we solve for x we get this so when x is 3 we substitute into this equation we can find the value of y so in order to show that a is maximum when x is 3 y is 12 we can find the second derivative of the 2a dx squared which is we differentiate this again you get 480 becomes 0 you get negative 160 which is less than 0 so when the second derivative is a negative number or less than zero. The value here is maximum. So a is maximum when x equals to 3, y equals to 12.